vehicle identification number. Engine number. Engine number is punched on crankcase. Tire pressure. Check and maintain tire pressure for better stability and road holding. Spare wheel. The spare wheel is located below the driver's seat. Unlock the step knee lock. Take out the nut. Take out the spare wheel. Jack. This is the jack point just below the dome frame. This is jack point on both the triangles just behind the wheel. Ignition key. The ignition switch is located to the left side of the handlebar. Turn the handlebar towards left side. Rotate ignition key clockwise to lock the steering. The clutch lever is with gear lever. Never try to shift gears when the engine is not cranked. This may disturb the gear setting or cut the gear cables. This is choke lever used for cold starting and the fuel mode is petrol. This is reverse control lever used to engage reverse gear for vehicle to go in backward direction. This is hazard switch. This will switch on all the four indicators. This is an emergency signal. This is headlight switch. This is wiper switch. Do not use the wiper in dry condition. This may cause scratches on the windscreen. This is accelerator lever. Push this button to start the engine. This is horn button. This is headlight high beam and low beam switch. This is speedometer console. For fuel level, speed of the vehicle, kilometers covered, battery charging condition, oil level low indication. Whenever the ignition key is on, battery charging bulb is on and oil level low indication bulb is on for a few seconds and will go off. When the engine is cranked, battery charging indication will go off. This means battery is charging. If not, get the vehicle checked by an authorized service center. When the engine is on and oil level low indication bulb is on, get the vehicle checked at an authorized service center. Vehicle parking. This is parking brake. Press the knob. Lift the lever up. Release the knob. Press the knob to release the parking brake. Push the lever down completely. Fire extinguisher is located next to driver's seat on right hand side. First aid kit. The first aid kit is supplied with vehicle. ECU. ECU is located next to ignition switch. This is electronic changeover unit from one fuel to another. It has three positions. Press the button up to run the vehicle in gas mode. Keep the button in center to cut off the fuel supply. This mode is used to burn the petrol in line. When you are switching the mode from petrol to gas mode to avoid mixing of two fuels and hence misfiring. Press the button down to run the vehicle in petrol mode. All green LED full tank, red LED reserve condition, LPG filling. This is the gas filling point. Lift the flap to fill the gas. 
Please note, the cylinder will be filled 80% only. CNG filling. This is cylinder on off knob. Turn the knob to left side for on position. Keep the knob in on position until any emergency. This is dust plug. Pull the plug to fill the gas. This will also disconnect the battery from starter motor. Ensure two O-rings on plug. If not, get it checked at Piaggio Authorized Center. Fix the plug firmly to avoid starting problem. Battery switch. Battery switch is located to the left side of driver's seat. This puts the battery in off condition when the vehicle is not in use. To switch on the vehicle, Turn the switch to right side. Engine oil. Check and top up engine oil. Remove dipstick. Check the level between minimum and maximum mark. Top up if required. Use recommended oil. 15 W50 SL grade oil. Remove dipstick. Check the oil level. It should be between maximum and minimum level. Top up if required. Use recommended oil. Brake fluid. Brake fluid reservoir is located below the driver's seat. Check the level. It should be between maximum and minimum. Top up if necessary. Use recommended brake fluid. Maintain brake fluid level between maximum and minimum.